As we count down the days until Election Day, Missouri campaigns are counting the dollars they need to get their message out. But how much of a difference does that money make in the end? WGEM Missouri Capital reporter Hannah Falcon dug through campaign finance reports to find out. In such a big election year, campaigns of all nature are raising a lot of money. But this year it's the issue, so not the candidates that are getting the biggest donations. The clock is ticking for campaigns to get the word out to voters. But those on both sides of issues like abortion and gambling aren't sitting by watching the clock. They are spending millions on ads. Amendment 3 is on the ballot to end the ban. Missourians for Constitutional Freedom debuted its new TV ad Tuesday. This is the campaign that's raised the most money according to Missouri Ethics Commission records. Sitting on more than $16 million, the campaign to legalize abortion in Missouri has outraised its counter campaigns, which have not even raised a combined $1 million. There's a ton of money being raised on all sides for, uh, for these issues because two reason, you know, a lot of people feel very strongly about it, and it's going to have significant economic consequences for the state one way or the other. Political science professor Terry Smith with Columbia College says the campaigns think before they spend. Very careful planning. With just seven weeks until the election, expect to see more campaign ads everywhere. It's not just radio and TV anymore. It's, you know, streaming and social media. The jury is still out on whether it actually matters how much a campaign spends. Smith says the research varies. You can't not do it. But what is sort of what's the tipping point? What's what's the inflection point where this amount of money matters? Perhaps unsurprisingly, most of the money raised for constitutional amendment questions happened after they were certified to be on the ballot one month ago. Reporting in Jefferson City, I'm Hannah Falcon, WGEM News.